Good morning, I'm Maggie from Personal Euphoria, and today we're gonna to go over some very gentle exercises to help relieve neck strain. It's a good series to do if you've slept on the wrong side of the bed, if you wanna explore like our my tension headaches coming from my neck. But you do wanna be really gentle, and none of this should hurt or create strain. It might feel a little awkward or different, but on some level, it should also create relief. So if you're um, feeling any pain, you're either pushing too hard or kind of not finding the right alignment, or it's not the exercise for you right now. One thing that you wanna think about is sitting or standing as tall as you can. So if you do these neck exercises from a slump rounded position, it's not really gonna be helpful. So you sit as tall as you can, and actually I should give you a little more access to my neck there so you can see. So you're gonna sit as tall as you can. And for the first one, you're gonna take a towel or a wide belt and you're gonna place it around the back of your head, right? And you don't, we don't want it down here. There, there are stretches where you could kind of put it down here and use it to guide you, but for this, it's around the back of your skull. And if your ponytail or a bun is in the way, you've got to adjust that. Then you're holding it, so I'm applying gentle pressure into these ends of the towel, and I'm gently pulling back. I'm not tucking my chin or lifting my chin. My chin is level and I gently pull my head back and then release. And you could pair that with your breath. You could do it a few times. You shouldn't be pulling and pushing as hard as you can, right? This is subtle. You're activating everything at like 20 to 25% of what you've got. You should feel the back of your neck muscles turn on. But again, while awkward, there should also be a sense of relief. All right. Then, of course, you can, within your range of motion, do head nods, do side bends of the neck, right? You could do a series of those, and you could do rotations as far as you can. So that movement is good, and you explore how far, how much movement you have. You could go to one end and do little head nods and little nose. So you can explore the range you have and that you feel safe moving in. But you can also, try to do isometric exercises for your neck. So you're gonna try to move, but not allow yourself to. So you're, you're gonna try to do a head nod, but you're gonna resist. So you're gonna put your fingers on your forehead and you're gonna be trying to tilt your chin down as if you were doing this, but your fingers aren't letting you. And again, you're doing 20 to 25% of activation. And then you release. And again, gently try to do a head nod subtle. You're playing with subtlety here, but trying to feel the sensation. Sometimes that's tricky. Release, and you do it again. Gently press, release. Then the same thing for the side bend. Now, side bends tend to be tricky for a lot of people. A lot of times when people try to do a side bend, if something's going on with their neck, they, they pair it with rotation. They do this. They do like a sheer, like they're trying to push their head sideways. This is just a tilt, right? So, that's what's trying to happen and you're going to put your fingers above your temple and you're going to try to tilt but your fingers don't let you go and again it looks like nothing's happening but i am trying to tilt my head and resisting with equal pressure and then release and tilt and press release and tilt and press and if you watch carefully, especially if I don't talk, which I'll do on the other side, you can see the muscles in my neck change. So you can see that there is something happening. So let's change side fingers higher than the temple. I won't talk this time, but you'll see me tilt and press and release. And release. So there is that activation gentle. And finally, to resist the rotation, you're going to place your fingers along your cheekbone. And when you go to turn your head, you're going to resist. So go to turn, but resist. And release. Go to turn, but resist turning. And release. Go to turn. I, I think these feel fabulous in the moment. Release. Other side. Fingers follow your cheekbone. You go to turn, but you're applying equal gentle pressure, release. Go to turn and release. 
go to turn and release and give it a little shake, a little wiggle, move your head around, see how it feels. What we're trying to do is activate all the stabilizers of the, mus the muscles of the neck that get a little overwhelmed sometimes, right? So you could do those big moves, you could do subtle moves on the end of them, or you can do those isometric, not letting something move, but supporting it gently. So have fun exploring. I'd love to hear how it feels. Of course, uh, if you're doing something new, you can always check with your doctor, see if it's safe given anything going on in your body. And you never want to do something that hurts in a bad way. So explore this only if it's giving you relief and feeling good. But as always, have a great day and keep moving.